Hi team, how are we doing? So Merry Christmas, hope you're all having a great festive season. So today we're going to do a quick review on the Simline GT3 Cup replica wheel. My name's Gavin Halls, this is Smoking Still Garage, let's get on with it. Okay, so let's get out on track and uh, have a look at this wheel and see how it performs. So we're at sunny Snetterton today. No particular reason other than uh, I wanted to go home for Christmas. So I'm stranded out in the Middle East. All my family actually live just down the road from Snetterton. So this is a place I grew up in um, as a kid. Spent many a day here leaning over the barrow watching everyone else race cars, dreaming of the day that I'd get to drive around here in real life. And eventually I did. And uh, this is actually a place where I first stepped out onto the racetrack in my uh, in my first race car, former Ford. So, enough of that. How are we getting on with the wheel? So, straight away, first thoughts are, um, feels really nice in the hand. It's a little, you can feel it smaller. So you can feel the 320 mil diameter versus 330 that I'm used to. Um, also, it's a little more delicate in the hand. So the outer rim isn't as thick um in the in the hand it's it's a lot finer the outer rim and it as i picked up in the uh in the first talk through the rim where we where we looked at it more closely in depth the the gap between the outer rim and the spokes is quite narrow so it feels pretty uncomfortable putting my thumbs um over that gap it feels like they're rubbing on the insides and i feel like if i drove this car for you know quite some time i drove this rim for quite some time i'd be getting uh sores or maybe calluses on my thumbs there which isn't preferable um not the end of the world but yeah it just doesn't feel entirely comfortable in uh in that sense so buttons are laid out really well they've got a really nice feel to them um, really easy to make setting changes on the fly the um the buttons are high quality you can really feel when you push them really solid action on them um, and they're really nicely set up from the uh, from the back plate so you can find them quite easily obviously laid out with color coding as well so if you do need to look down you can sight them pretty quick uh, without too many dramas rotor encoders they feel really good um, nice knobs on top of the rotor encoders they stand off quite nicely from the back plate so they're easy to find and the uh, the motion the click is really solid and defined you can really feel even with a gloved hand on the clicking between one two and uh, you know clicking up and down through the settings on the encoders i will say it's they're a bit of a pain i'm not a fan of rotor encoders um, using them for brake bias so um, although I'd, i've got brake bias on this one down here at the moment normally in a race i'd have it set up on the buttons i just find it easier and faster to make um, settings changes using the buttons instead of the encoder coder i'd use for like traction control or something i'm not going to use that often scrolling through the black box uh, which i can do quickly and easily but yeah overall quite nice so one thing you do have to note when uh if you put the rim on if you use a 330 mil rim and you come down to this one um, you will find that for the first few corners your inputs will be way too much of the car you'll be really uh janky with your input movements the reason being because the rim's smaller your hands have been boarding closer to the uh, center line of the, the drive, drive unit so you don't need to put quite as big an input so they can be uh, a lot smaller a lot more delicate and on the flip side of that trying to control the car like if you get any kind of oversteer obviously the rim is going to spin a lot faster because it's it's outer rim is a lot closer to the uh, the inside or the center line of the base unit so a bit of a different feeling um, quite nice so once you get used to it and because of that extra or because of that reduction in weight from the rim 
it does bring out the VRS direct drive a bit more for me. I can feel a little bit more feedback um, from the rim in, cur in terms of the uh, ripples on the road, the curbs. I can just feel the rim because it's lighter. It's just able to resonate. The uh, the feelings are able to resonate through it that little bit easier. So I'm, I'm finding I'm picking up little tiny subtle details. Do I need them? Maybe not, but it is quite nice that, that you just feel, or you feel like you're feeling a bit more from what the car's doing. Okay, so to summarise, what do I think about the Simline GT3 um, RS wheel? Well, I'm in two minds. So if you're looking at buying this wheel or a wheel for performance related issues, you want a wheel that's, that gives you an edge, helps you to be the best driver you can on iRacing, this I don't think is the one for you, just in the sense that it's a little smaller, it's a little bit uncomfortable um, to use because of its design. So for me, like if I wanted a good all-round wheel, I'd, I'd be looking at buying something a bit bigger, or I'd just buy the base unit and put my own wheel room on, which is what I've done. I think if you're looking to buy this in terms of, like for me, I drive the cup car all the time, I wanted a replica cup car wheel to sit on my rig and make it look pretty. And in that sense, it's perfect. It's such a true replica. It's so close to the real thing. Um, and I think that's that's really great. I really love the button gears, uh, the button gear on this wheel. So the, uh, the button hardware, really good quality, lovely colors, perfectly placed. The encoders, again, with their snappiness, um, really high quality encoders that are supplied. Paddle shifters are perfect. They're just the right size, so they're quite large. They go around about a third of the width of the rim, so they're really easy to find uh, when you're cornering the car and you need to just grab a gear like um, upshifting um, and downshifting, middle of the corner, you don't have any dramas. For me, my own personal preference, I'd like them just to be a tiny bit more snappier um, on the feel. But it's not the end of the world, and it's not something that I think is is held me back in races at all. It's just a tiny personal preference. Obviously, with the paddle shifters being full carbon fiber, um, with the paddles and also the enclosures for them themselves, they do resonate. They are quite loud um, when they're being operated. So this may be something you need to bear in mind if you're using a rim at home and you've got the chance of upsetting the family in the uh, next to or keeping people awake at night but i think overall in terms of value and and what you get for your money brilliant the the rim is high quality the the fabrication is high quality it's a solid solid wheelbase it's not going to fall apart you're literally going to get the same performance from this uh rim two years down the line it'll be exactly the same as the day you put it on big and i think that's something that the uh that needs to be applauded. So if you want to buy a wheel like this, I actually bought mine from Midas Simulations in the UK. Um, I'll stick a link to their website in the comments down below. Give them a call, speak to Matt, tell him I sent you, um, and I'm sure he'll give you a little extra discount for coming along from Smoking Still Garage. Um, so yeah, Matt's a great guy. I've done a lot of uh, trade with him over the last few months, and uh, definitely highly recommended customer service so if you want to grab one of these rims or any others for that fact he stocks cube controls as well um, do give him a call anyway I'm gonna get on now we're nearly at the end of 2020 it's been a long year um, I hope you like what we did today with the film obviously if you do please do give us a, a thumbs up not a thumbs down give us a thumbs up at the bottom of this video and feel free to leave any comments if there's anything you'd like me to take a look at in the future or there's any improvements you can see that that will help me to to improve myself and improve the uh, the films we make for you then please leave the comments down below we're one week away from 2021 so stay safe guys and uh, see you all in the new year cheers